from wherever you might be watching me today. My name is Olajin Business Samuel Opeyemi. Yeah, welcome to my live webinar. We do this once in a while, probably once in a month, and sometimes two times in a month. So I'm a young man, as you can see. <laughs> I'm a young businessman. I also call myself an entrepreneur and I'm a blogger. So I have a lot of things I do. Okay, I'm also a sound engineer. I have a sound equipment of my own, which I manage and I run myself. I have a workforce of like 15 people working on under me. So that is how we're starting gradually, gradually. Now, I am not saying all this because I want to be bragging about myself no i am saying this because i want you all especially the young people like me that seeing this video to know that we the young we can do something we are capable of doing something i'm just i'm just saying this i'm just saying this section this webinar is just meant to tell we the young ones that there is a lot we are capable of doing there's a lot we can do. Initially, I had no plan to be doing this webinar, to be doing this live section. I had no plan for it because I always tell myself then, <clears throat> like two years back, I always tell myself that I am still young. I still have a lot to do to achieve before I can start helping other people to achieve their dreams. I always tell myself that I should just leave it for the young, for the from the older people to do it. That was my dream. That was my thought initially. But then I came across a write-up. The write-up says that whatever you are going to do, you do it now. And your now is your today. And your today is right now. Now, under his the write-up was like, there, are some, there is someone out there that you can help either directly or indirectly. There's someone waiting out there for you. There's someone waiting to hear you communicate. There's someone that you just have to talk to that. It is that thing that you say to them that will make them take the leap of faith. To, you know, to, to, to discover themselves also. So that is why I decided that the little knowledge I have, I'll start sharing with the young ones out there just like me. Then if you have anything you want to hide, you want to chip in, or you want to be part of the section, you can always just um, check on our link on our page, message us privately or through our mobile numbers or call us. Or you can visit our official website at osworld1.com and you can be part of the team. So now, we um, the, the tag, the topic for today's discussion is the top is already filled, but there is always a room for you. The top of the ladder is filled. That means the successful people, the celebrity, the politician, the wealthy people, their carcass is already filled. They have more than enough friends already. They have more than enough people in their group. We have more than enough people we can call the wealthy, the rich. But then, there's always a slot for you if you want to be part of them. If I want to be part of them. If we want to be part of them. There's always a room for us. There's always a slot for us. No matter how much they had there, if you decide today that you want to be part of them, there will always be a space for you. So that is why we say the, f the top is already filled, but there is always a room for us all. Now, today's discussion is meant for young celebrities. Maybe you are a singer, you are a rapper, you are a dancer, whatever business you are doing. Then it's a young entrepreneur like myself, if we are just coming up, or you are into the industry already. In fact, there are some a lot of people that are into this industry already. But there are some things that they don't know that have been bringing our business backward. So now we are going to be talking on four important points. Now the first one is your blueprint. Your blueprint. The second one is laying your foundation. The third one is the power of the media. Then the fourth one is leveraging the media. Now these four top um these four subtopics. Will be divided into two we're gonna treat two today so that we will not over you not know, when we talk too much we tend to forget those things we've said earlier so that we will not over occupy our head we're gonna talk about just two topics today then probably in a week or two we are going to deal with the other two so now 
the first two we are going to be talking about is your blueprint and laying the foundation you see every castle every big firm every rich every successful person started from somewhere i was reading an article um was it day before yesterday um um dangote was talking he said he was surprised how we youth these days wanna build wanna be successful and wanna do it overnight we want our name to be on the record we want our name to be among the top and we want to do it overnight he was saying it is not done that way he said it took him it took him 30 years to be dangote it took him 30 years to be who he is he. now can you imagine if he took Dangote a whole 30 lot of years just to get to where he is? That means we have a lot of work at hand. In fact, we have a serious work at hand. And now it is our now to start. Because every single day you, you procrastinate. Every single time you procrastinate. Every single time you say, I will do it later, I will do it later, I will do it later. Time is going. You see, there's a saying we say when we're in school. They said, Time and tide wait for no man or nobody. We must choose our time wisely. Then I like I'm a Christian. In our in our Bible, um, in the book of Ecclesiastes, there's a part, Ecclesiastes, I think chapter three or so. It also said that everything and everything has time. So now if we are not influencing our time, if you are not making use of your time, if you are not getting the best out of your time, before you know you just realize that oh my god, how come? When did I become this old? How come time is gone? It's just like in the in the morning when you woke up. You know you know day is you know the day is broken or the day is oh sorry. Sorry, I was getting carried away. When you woke up in the morning, you know it's daybreak already. But then you you'll be like let me just close my eyes a little bit. Now, by the time you close your eyes a little bit, by the time you open your eyes again, you realize you just close your eyes a little bit. But if you check your time, that little bit that you thought you closed your eyes for, it's like 30, 40 minutes. In fact, one hour, it happens to me a lot of time. Okay, it actually happens to me this morning. I woke up around 7 o'clock. I was like, mm, the time is 7 o'clock. I still have time. And I said I should just take a short nap. Before I know it, the time is already 9.30. I would say, oh my God, I was, how did this happen? You know, it was just a little nap I said I wanted to take. That is it about our time. So we need, we need to constitute the using of our time efficiently, effectively. So as a young man like me, and as a young man or young lady like you have, wherever you are watching me from, we need to be very, very prudent when it comes to our time. So now, we're going to be talking about the first subtopic, which is our blueprint. Now, the blueprint is every house, is, every building has its own build, um, blueprint. Before you even go to the foundation part, you need to have the blueprint for, of that building. This blueprint is the one that explains how the foundation will go, how the direction of the house will go, how the plumbing, the wiring, everything about the house. It is the blueprint that we stipulate them down. It is like it's like it is like a it is like a manual. If you buy a car, if you buy a new set of gadgets, electronic gadgets, there is always a manual that comes with it. Now, if you are building also your house, if you are building your house also, there is a manual to the building of that house. That manual is what we call the blueprint. It is the blueprint that cover every part of that project. So now, each project you want to do, your career, your business, anything you want to do, you must make sure you have a blueprint. Now, the blue, your, blueprint, your blueprint should include your number one is your goal and your objective. If you are going into the music business, if you are going to the entertainment business, if you are starting up your home business, now, you need to have a goal and objective now your goal is your long time plan target let's say two three years or five that is your goal but your objective is what do you want to achieve what is your target in the next few months or a year i don't know more you are guessing it your goal is everything you are doing on on, on your objective it is leading to your goal your goal happens on the long run while your objective happens on the short run. If you don't have a goal and an objective, 
before going out, before moving out to start up a business, my dear, my brother, my sister, whatever business you are doing into music or whatever you are doing, my, you still need to take a detour. You need to take some time out to really look at yourself and 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 to and, and to and to reframe to have to reappraise yourself. So now, as a musician, what is your goal? Or what in the next five years? What where do you want to see yourself? Where do you want to be? What feat of achievement do you want to have as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a whoever you want to be? What is that you want to be in the next five, six, seven, eight years? Then your objective in the next few months, what is it that you want to achieve? Are you listening? Now, secondly is how prepared and how ready are you? If you want to achieve something in the next six months, what are the steps you've taken? What are the preparation you've made? What are the plans you've put into place? How prepared are you? If you want to start a business, what do you know about that business? What do you want to know about the location of your business? Where you want to where you want to start up the business, the choosing of your location, even your choice of customers. What are your choice of customers? Have you made all these researches? What are the pros and cons? What are the what are the possible traits that you might have? What are the possible problems that might arise in the fit of your business? These are all the things you need to put into consideration when you are starting up a business. Then also if you are an entertainer, whatever whatever department of entertainment you are in, you need to put into consideration what are the what are the possible problems that I might incur? What are the possible what are the possible what are the I don't know how should I put it? What what are the what are the obstacles? That might come your way in in, 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 in in the process. What are the obstacles? All these things you need to have them planned. Then you need to master your trade. You need to master your trade. That is why I'm asking, how prepared and ready are you? You see, I've 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 met a lot of clients because when I work on the media, when I'm working on media projects on all music promotion projects, I've met a lot of clients. They will come to me, oh yes, I want to do this. I am very serious. I will look at the person. I will say, are you sure you are very serious and you are ready to do what you really want to do? He will be like, huh? if I am not serious, if I am not ready, we won't be having this discussion. But you know what happened after a week or two? They back down. Some will, And most importantly, we all put the blame on money. Everybody say money, 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 money. And before you know it, you back down. You back down. So there's a there's a part of the Bible. God, he said, anyone that that will look back is no is not fit for the kingdom of God. I don't know. I, I'm sorry about that. This is not a religious setting. So, <laughs> so what am I just trying to say is that how prepared are you? Are you ready to take it all the way? To take it all the way, all the way to the top, all the way to achieve your your objective to achieve your goal. Are you ready? Are you willing? If you are not ready, if you are not prepared, don't even start at all. So if you are building your blueprint, the blueprint to your success, you need to have your goals and your objectives. Now, when you are setting up your goals and your objectives, you need to know you are prepared, not just prepared, and you are ready. Whatever may come your end, no matter what may come your ways. No matter what may come your way, no matter the obstacle, no matter the disappointment, you need to, you need to, you need to cross your heart that I am going for this. I am going. Everything there's, we don't get to be so. Um, we don't get to win every time. Everything don't get to be successful every time. There are times we have to lose. There are times we have to be disappointed. But this is not an excuse for us to stop. This is not an excuse for us to stop. Now, the third thing you need to take into consideration is what sacrifice are you ready to make <laughs> you see the thing is in this life there's nothing that goes for nothing there's nothing that goes for nothing there's nothing you want to achieve without making some some level of sacrifice there's always a sacrifice there you need to make now, when I'm talking about sacrifice, it might be in time of your money, it might be in time of your time, it might be in time of effort, but there's always a sacrifice you make. Now, this sacrifice starts 
comes from making researches. You know, spend sleepless nights trying to make research. If you are an artist, you need to make a research. The top people that are at the top of the artist ladder, how did they get to where they are? How did they do it? What are the things they are doing? What are what are you need to you need to make a research? Who is your role model? You need to go into a deep research to look at how your role model started, how he got to where he got to, the, the, the problems they are faced. You know, all these things. You said um experience is the best lesson. See, uh, yeah, experience is the best lesson. But I tell you, it's better when it is not your experience. It is better when it is someone else's experience. That is teaching you a lesson for you not to fall into that same. <laughs> Sorry about that. For you not to make the same error that that person makes. So what I'm just trying to tell you is that you need to be ready to make a sacrifice. You need to be ready to give it all it takes. Give it all it takes, my friend. Give it all it takes. Every time you need to give it all it takes. Listen to this beautiful new year song, All It Takes. You know what I'm talking about. You need to be ready to give it your all. If you're not ready to do that, my friend, my brother, my sister, Esa, or Ma, whatever you're watching right now, if you're not ready to go that deep, you're not ready to give it your all. I will advise you, you don't even go there at all. Then now, the fourth point on your blueprint is the money issue see we 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 all we all grew up in a society whereby we believe without money we can't do anything don't get me wrong without money <laughs> you can hardly do anything but the truth is without money you can do a lot i mean a lot a lot see money money doesn't build a business Money don't even make you rich. Money don't even make you wealthy. Wealth, riches, starts from here. Start from here. Your business, your fame, your prosperity, your, your, your level of achievement starts from here. Starts from here. Starts from idea. So now, why not, why don't you just leave the money issue for now? Don't concentrate your effort on the money. Concentrate your effort on the other part of your business that you need to equip. You see, the truth is, the money will come. The money will come. You might, you might, you might work for ten years, ten good years, and trying to set something up for ten good years. Then the money, the energy, the strength, the effort you have made over that past years, you might just receive the profit in just a day. The money might just come in a day. All the effort you've been putting all over the year, all over the years, all over the months, all over the days, you might get it, the reward in just a day. You just need one thing, just one thing to throw you out to the world. You need just one break to put you up among the, among the higher top. But how will you know this break? You can never know it. You just have to keep on doing it, doing the best you could, giving the best you can. And every time, always try to give the best. Then leave the monetary the monetary issue will definitely come it will come it will come as a surprise i told you in my last section i had no dime when i wanted to start up my first business a year two years ago i had no money on me but i have the idea i have the idea i have the idea now when i have the idea i develop into i develop the idea and do you know what happened when i started developing the idea up to a level just miraculously, I don't even know how it's coming in. The money just starts striving in, coming in from there and there and there. It is not easy to build a business of up to 300,000 plus. It might not be a lot of money to some people. But to me, to someone that, come, that came and that is coming from a very poor background, it is something. 300,000 is, is like a whole world. It's just like it's just like our lifetime saving, and we I was able to raise it in the in the in the blink of an eye within some a few weeks, and I started the business. After that, I have gone into another business, another business, and now I'm managing like two, three, four businesses. I am doing fine, and that is not the stop. I still have a lot more to do. I still have a lot more to focus my attention in. I still have to build what I have 
or now i still have to build the empire from what i have now and the same thing goes to us or we can do this thing don't let money stop us don't let money be the excuse we give ourselves we've made money give we've made money be the excuse that when i have more money when i have more money you can never have more money that's just the truth because the more money you have the more responsibility you have the more you the, the more the more the more expenses that come to your neck so now in a short Building your, your blueprint is the number one route to your success. And now, under your blueprint, there are four things you need to take into consideration in order to have a complete blueprint. Now, the first one is, what is your goal and your objective? You need to have a goal, then you need to have an objective. I say your goal is a long time plan, while your objective is things that you want to achieve in the blink of an eye within you know, a short period of time. Then you need to have... You need to have the power, the will. You need to be prepared. How prepared are you? How committed are you? How far are you ready to go? How far are you ready to take this thing? Then the third, it is what... Okay, what sacrifice are you ready to make? What sacrifice are you ready to make? Are you ready to spend sleepless nights? Are you ready to skip meal? Are you ready to spend if you have the money? Are you ready to trek? Are you ready to hustle? You need to make sacrifice. There's nothing in this world that you get that you don't make a sacrifice of. It's just like you go to the to the slot to buy a very good phone. Trust me, you have to pay for the phone. The payment you make for the phone is the sacrifice you are making for that phone. Now, the last but not the least is don't let money be an issue for you. Then don't let money be the excuse you make for you not being successful in life. So now we we'll move to the next point, which is your foundation. Now, when after the architects have drew, have drawn your 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 the plan of the house, how everything is supposed to go, then we we'll now move proceed with with laying the foundation. Now, as a businessman. As an entrepreneur, as a as a as a musician and an artist, a whatever whatever the craft you are engaging, building your foundation should be based on these four slots. Now, it's these are things that are working for me. You might have a different opinion. You might have a different idea. It is fine. It is cool. All that matters is do what works for you and try to get into get into the world. Get into get into the get into the list of the top, be among the top. Get what I'm saying? So, but these things, I believe, you, if you take them into consideration, even if it is just one thing, there's just, even if it is a thing that you can pick out from it, model it into your own life. It is all right. It is quite okay. So now, your foundation, building your foundation, the first thing that you need to know about building your foundation is you must know your craft. Sorry, I had a sleepless night last night. So I worked overnight, so I guess this back is just giving me a lot of issues. Okay, so sorry about the distraction. Now back to class. You need to know your craft. You need to be the best you can be. You need to be your best version. If you are selling, oh God, if 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 if, if, if you are selling a craft to the people. You need to, if, if, if you are going to sell something for me, if you are going to get my money, you need to let me convince that you are giving me the best I could get from everywhere. That the best that you are giving me the best that I could never get it better from anywhere. Even if I can. But you have to let me, you have to convince me that what you are giving me is the best. That I can never get anyone better from anywhere. That is the power of knowing your craft. You need to be, you need to be the best at all you do. You, you, you can't just, um... You can't just you can you, you can't just you can't just have a, a slight idea and you say you want to be among the top. It is not done that way. You need to be good. You need to be good. Practice your trade. Rehearse. Train. Rehearse. Train. Rehearse. Train. Make a lot of researches. You know, it's it's kind. It's quite and um, I don't know what to say, Sha. But it's quite it's quite it's quite painful that we use these days. We don't even we don't even have time to read anymore. You know. The internet is always there for us and 
we just think anything we can just take the goggle and search it's cool it's cool that way it makes things easier but i tell you there are some things that you still need to make a comprehensive research you still need to read comprehensively in order for you to have a, a very concrete knowledge make a research of people that have gone into your trade that have been to where you have been that have done what you are doing make a research know how they did it know what they did no, 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 the challenges they are faced. These are the things that will help you blend. So you need to be the best at your craft. Then secondly, you need to take it a step at a time. There's this old song that says, I don't know the lyrics, but there's just this part of the song that I know. It says, one step at a time. If you are going to climb a ladder, you have to take it step 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 if you are going on if you are if you are climbing a story building and there's no lift and you have to go by the staircase you have to take it a step at a time if you are if you are if you want to start a, a thousand mile journey you need to start it with just a single step so everything in life is about a step you need to take a step take a step of faith take a step of a bold step a step of confidence, a step of resolution that you're you are just going to get what you want to get done. You're going to get it done. You need to take a step. If you don't take a step, you just be where you are. Then, you don't jump steps. You don't jump stages. No, it's not done that way. If you're going to start up a business, make the research, make this market survey, know your location, know your targets, clients, know everything. You take the step. Then you, take, you need to highlight it. You need to have it. You need to have a plan. You need to write it down. You need to have it in written. You know, this, I've gone this, I've done this. You stick, you stick, you stick, you stick, you stick, you stick. You don't just have an idea today, then tomorrow you are building it. It's not done that way. Take it a step at a time. Then the third point is... Finish one work. For example, I wanted to talk about two topics just now. You can't expect me to jump while, while I'm talking about blueprints to jump into foundation. No. I had to talk about the blueprints. I had to finish my discussion on the blueprint. They had to take a short break. I don't know. You saw me. I, I had to take a short break. Then I had to continue with the foundation. Why am I doing this thing? Because it is the it is it is a principle that states you need to finish one before you start another one. If you can't finish one, how do you have the confidence that you are gonna finish another one? That is why um there's a Bible script. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm taking us into the Bible. I'm very sorry. It's cool, irrespective of the, your religion. It's cool. It's it's every religion I have this principle. You have to finish something before you start another one. You don't just jump into you don't just jump from one thing to another. You don't do things that way. You need to make sure you finished what you are doing, then you move to the other one. Now, the last but not the least is your image. There's a Yoruba saying that says the bashi joko which my bar I need a photo. Build your name. Another Yoruba proverb say, "Oru koriri osanju urat fada kalo." You see, your business is a small part of you, but your name is a very very important part. Your name, your profile, your profile, your name, your name, your profile. You need to build it. You need to build a, a very good name. You, are, you have to build, if, if you are a musician, you need to build a name that, you need to build your name that any, when, wherever they hear your name, ah, yeah, it sings a good music. That is your name. Ah, no, it doesn't do this. That's a good name. If, it's, if you are a business owner, ah, your client should have the confidence to deal with you. You have the confidence to, to have a business transaction with you without having no doubt. How who are you working with? I'm working with OS. Oh, if it is OS, you are in, you are in safe hand. That is your name. Don't go around trying to cut corners, trying to make a lot of cash. Don't 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 jeopardize, don't jeopardize your name because of few caches that you can make. You see, the thing is, you need to have this principle that this money I want to make right now. Irrespective of the cash, 
is it more important by my name can the money buy me a good name money will never buy you a good name no matter how wealthy you are if you have a very bad name if you have a very bad character it will always reflect and it is not good for business especially for we young ones coming up so we need to build our name we need to build our image we need to know where we walk to we need to know where we move with you know your craft will decide we determine the kind of friends you have irrespective of the kind of friends you have you need to be very 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 strict and very very careful with your choice of friends so thank you for joining us today for today's section of Talk time with OS Word. So today we are talking about a topic that says that the top is already filled, but there's always a room for us. There's always a room for you. There's always a room for me. And we talk about the, our blueprints and our foundation. So on our next discussion, we will be looking at the power of media. We're going to be looking at the power of media and how we can leverage the media to take our business to a higher ground. Thank you so much. If you have a question, if you have an answer, if you if you want to make a correction, if you want to have an observation, or you want to be a part of the show, you can just call us on our WhatsApp number. You can send a message. You can, um, you can visit our website at www.osworld.com. Any other information you need to know is there on the video. It's there on our profile. It's there on our page. You can just... Hook up with us and let's be good. And if you want to be part of our business, you want to be the part of our crew, you can always be part of us. You are always welcome. As long as you are intelligent, smart, and you know what you are doing. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what I just did now. <laughs> I just felt like I <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry if I'm too playful. That's just me, you know. Just have to be good. Just, just have to. You just have to enjoy life. Whatever you are doing, you just have to enjoy life. You just have to be happy. Thank you. <laughs> See you again next time. <laughs>